yeah, uh, this is called the Doe Library. It's the prettiest library among like 15 that we have. Uh, as you've seen, like the interior is like pretty nice. The wooden like antique stuff, it's cool. It's, it's, um, I usually go there during midterm seasons and it's really quiet. Yeah, that, that was dope. Talking about San Francisco and how she never gets to go back home as much. Hi, Jennifer Kitchen School and students' parents. Welcome back to JC Chapel. We are in San Francisco. Yeah. It's uh, beautiful weather. It's windy, uh, really cold, by the way. We are going to uh, visit LA as well and uh, visit a lot of schools. We met a uh, uh, Claire, uh, Lee Joo-young, uh, Lee, uh, one of our alumni, and also we uh, visited Stanford University with uh, Mr. John's father and parents, actually, uh, who graduated uh, Stanford University. And uh, we had a great uh, you know, campus tour and also school information. Knowing people, traveling every, everywhere, uh, you know, we're gonna spend a lot of time with our friends. Sometimes we know they are eating in a habit and a sleeping habit and also the cultural learning parts and language of you know the skills and also a lot of people uh, different types of people we learn this is the uh, one of our beauties in terms of a travel so uh, such a great uh, you know, lesson we learn from the tri trips uh, this trip uh, is kind of vision trip so we are going to learn about the trip of especially the college education life and language so knowing people and knowing cultures and knowing country and also each you know uniquenesses of the uh, the people so such a like you know all of a lesson we have learned and gained at this moment. Well, uh, it's getting cold, so maybe I'm gonna take another shot in a different location, okay? All right, see you soon later, bye-bye. Tour, but so I'm 
pretty sad and I'm very disappointed in myself. Huh? What I learned from this trip, I read the John chapter 15 verse 7. If you remain in me, and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. We had a Good Friday service uh, on campus. And then a lot of people, students and you know, faculty members, we prepare, it is called prayer topic. When we joined communion service, we confess our sins. And we read, we read prayer topics. We wrote down about our forgiveness, God's grace and love, and also thankfulness, appreciation word. And I've seen, I've heard about your prayer topics and that might include my topic, prayer topics. Sometimes prayer topic looks like kind of wish list. Please bless me, give me this, and I want to do, I want to do this one. I want, I want to complete this one. I want to achieve this one. Kind of all things, what we want, desire, kind of really focus on me, which is a very self-centered. But some of the, uh, the Bible, what clearly mentioned about prayer is it's not focus on ourselves, but God. So interesting thing is uh, Jesus, he taught how to pray to God in many, many times. New Testament mentioned about how to pray. Even the Lord's Prayer, Jesus taught this very crucial prayer you know, to His followers, even Jesus Christ's disciples. And one of the prayer top, I mean the prayer, prayers He taught, it is called John chapter 15 verse 7, if you remain in me, which is stay with Jesus Christ, and all the words will remain in Jesus. In this case, in this situation, when we ask God, whatever we wish, which means what? In Christ, remain in Jesus, then we will be qualified to ask God. And what, what the Bible said, it will be done for you. Whenever we ask God, and interesting is Jesus all the time, even the Bible all the time mentioned about if, which is a condition. If we have to do, if you and I, we have to remember and practice. So once again, prayer is not wish list, wish topic. Prayer is what? Just promise, promise what we have to do for God. We have to remain in God and knock the door of heaven. God will listen and He will answer what we, when we ask. But there is a one condition. It is called remain in Jesus Christ. Um, I want to encourage you guys, keep in mind this one. Remain in Jesus. And then Jesus' message remains in you and I. Then when we seek God first, when we ask God, then it will be done for you and I. But um, I think that this message I would like to share with you guys, especially after Easter Sunday and during the, uh, um, this, you know, the, the U.S. College Division trip. That's what I learned, what we have learned so far. Okay? All right, let's pray together. Jesus, we thank you for this great opportunity to learn about you, learn about new cultures, learn about college, learn about education and Christ and education. Please continue to bless us and encourage us to remain in you and seek God first. And we'll ask you with, through the prayers and then you will answer the, our prayer topics. It will be done for you and I. So that's the, uh, what we listen 
so far in this trip. Thank you so much for uh, your blessing so that we could be here and also a lot of students take some rest during spring break. Thank you so much for once again, Mr. John and Ms. Pauline, their support, our parents' support as well. I pray in Jesus' name, amen.